Hey, did you see that? This ghost problem is getting out of control. I even built this proton sidearm for extra protection. Oh, you want to build one of these? Sure. With just a few materials and tools, you can turn a cheap toy gun into this supercharged ghost busting gat. Here, I'll show you how. First, you'll want to get one of these toy guns. I picked up this one at Walmart, though there are many similar toy models which could feasibly be used with slight alterations of this construction method. Begin by removing the front attachment and unscrewing the pieces. Unscrew the gun as well. Hang on to the screws for later. Cut off the orange barrel head, separate the halves, and remove the spring-loaded pieces from inside. Now you can carefully remove the orange barrel slide from the handle and clip the connecting wires. Inside you'll find circuitry involved in the gun's sound mechanisms. Cut out the two sound switches and set them aside for later. Then unscrew and cut out the speaker and unscrew the trigger pieces. Hang on to these as well. Remove the battery terminals by bending the backs and sliding out the plates. Now you can use a Dremel cutting tool to start removing the battery chamber. Use a wood block to remove melted plastic that collects on the bit. Finish cutting out the battery chamber and remove it entirely. Then proceed to cut out any excess plastic that isn't involved with the structural integrity or mechanical operation of the handle piece. Remove the front barrel shell by carefully using a Dremel sander to separate the halves and sanding off the rest. Unscrew this switch before cutting a hole in the top of the slide and removing all excess plastic from the barrel. Now you can use super glue to attach each slide half to its respective handle half. Take them apart again after they dry. Color in the trigger with black magic marker, then you can insert it back in its slot. Further reinforce this support with Bondo. This will prevent breakage from repeated use of the trigger. We can now start sanding and cutting the front detachable part of the gun. This includes cutting a larger hole on the front, hollowing out the inside, and getting rid of any rough spots. Finish by gluing and screwing it together. Color in this design on a small piece of printer paper. Cut out a small piece of plastic and glue them together. Then glue this inside the bottom of the attachment. Use a piece of tape to assist in filling in this hole with Bondo before sanding it down. Now cut two small wooden squares and glue them to the inside of the attachment. To begin the gun stock, cut a rectangle of Sintra and use two glued together pill bottles to mold it into a U-shape. After cutting out a portion of each side, use the heat gun to fold out these flaps, then use the Dremel saw to remove these two sections. Cut four small strips of Sintra and glue them inside the four base pillars, then cut and mold two squares to glue over the side flaps. Once this is dry, add Bondo to all visible divisions, then sand it down to flat, smooth surfaces and valleys. Cut out these five shapes and glue them together to form the lower grille. Carve out the center of this piece so it can wrap around its placement on the gun. As you're creating these pieces, try them out on the gun to see if they fit or if they need further modification. Cut off the end of this pill bottle and sand down the edges. Cut it into the necessary shape by using reference images of the original prop from the internet. Cut a ping pong ball in half and glue one side to the mouth of the pill bottle to finish the piece. Fill the inside of the ping pong ball with Bondo to prevent denting. Sand these edges to angles before cutting these two slats. Use a magic wand to make these three alterations and a magic Dremel for these two. Heat and mold this rectangle of Sintra to fit into the gun stock like so. Then cut and angle the edges. Now you can glue it in place. Heat mold this square of Sintra using the pill bottle piece. Sand the edges to angles and glue that in place. Then add Bondo to the open end and cracks before sanding them down. Use a thin screw bit to cut these holes before switching to an LED sized one. Do this to both sides of the stock. Then add a splash of silver spray paint to the outside of the holes. Cut this cinch across, then heat mold down the sides with the help of a screwdriver. Cut these flaps to angles. Sand down the inside of this plate before gluing it to the top of the cinch across, then glue this on top of the gun stock. Cut a piece of wire and strip the ends. Expose wire in the middle of the piece by melting it with a lighter. Wrap one end of a resistor around this part and solder it on. Use a pliers to make a hook in one end of a green LED attach it to the resistor, and solder them together. Now use telekinesis to assemble the first circuit, like so. Solder wire and a resistor to this switch, then assemble the second circuit in this fashion. Cover all exposed wire with electrical tape before inserting the first circuit into the gun stock and pushing the LEDs into these holes, then superglue them in place. 
color the inside of the barrel end black before pushing the switch of the second circuit into place and gluing and screwing the handle back together around it. Use a Dremel metal cutting blade to carve two circuit boards. Cut four small rectangles of wood and glue them to the circuit boards like so. Glue one of these pieces on each side of the back of the gun. Take care to thread the battery terminal and front LED through their respective positions in the gun before gluing the top and bottom portions together. Leave these wires hanging out the hole in the side. Glue the pill bottle piece in place, then tear two of these capacitors off the circuit board leftovers and glue them to the sides here and here. Cut a cube out of a balsa block, then use various Dremel tools to carve it into shape before gluing it to the top of the front piece. Create a small chamber for the light at the bottom by putting in a square of duct tape. Applying black paint over this will prevent light from shining through. Now you can glue this piece on the gun, making sure to insert the LED into its chamber. After the glue dries, use a pliers to adjust the placement of the LED. Put a dollop of Bondo on each side of the gun before gluing the radiator in place. Also use it to seal these open spaces at the back of the grill. Now you can apply Bondo to all other necessary sections on the gun. Once this has dried, use the Dremel to cut and sand these sections down. Use progressively smaller bits to carve the detail sections. Now you're ready to coat the gun in silver metallic spray paint. After it dries, add a second coat. Don't forget to do the battery cover as well. Now you can solder this switch to the exposed wires, then glue it into the slot. Finish up by attaching the batteries in the handle, pushing the cover in place, and screwing it on. Now just wrap the handle in grip tape, and you're finished! Now if you really want to up your game, just duplicate the recipe. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, whatever you do, don't cross the streams.